Let's take you to Belarus now, where security forces have been using flash grenades and firing warning shots as they try to disperse protesters in Minsk. The protesters have been taking part in the latest mass demonstrations against the country's long-term leader, Alexander Lukashenko. The security forces tried to prevent the protesters from gathering at a site on the outskirts of the capital linked to Stalinist repression. It's the 12th successive Sunday of mass demonstrations since August's widely discredited election. Ofranek Vyakorka is the advisor to exiled opposition politician Svetlana Tikhonovskaya. He spoke to me earlier from Lithuania. Uh, Svetlana Tikhonovskaya herself does not coordinate the protest, but she is more like a symbol. She is inspiring the protest. She is showing that Belarusians can manage to um, change the system uh, and to conduct new and free elections. Uh, she speaks to the foreign leaders. She met Angela Merkel, Emmanuel Macron. And um, she represents the aspirations of uh, Belarusians who are protesting for three months in a row. Can the protests succeed, do you think, without her or a figure like her there to lead them? Uh, actually, uh, protesters do not need the leader. This uh, protest in Belarus, this revolution is uh, leaderless, I would say. It's very grassroots, it's very decentralized, and people organize themselves into smaller communities, smaller groups. They prepare posters, flags, they help each other. And uh, the only goal that unites everyone is the will for changes. And each time when they gather, the police brutally cracks down on, on, on the protest. And this motivates even uh, more. It motivates people to go out. And uh, right now we can see pensioners, students, pupils, all of them protesting together. Um, let's see where it will go. But definitely the regime is uh, making more and more mistakes. And I would say when economic crisis will, will approach, um, Lukashenko will not be able to... Uh, to keep things under control as before. Do you think that the protests will continue in the strength of numbers that we've seen over the last few months as winter sets in, as it gets colder, perhaps as the security forces crack down harder, possibly? I think there will be less people attending in the protests uh, because Belarus winter is very hard. It's, uh, it's very difficult to sustain the number of protesters. But I think the form of protest will change. People will resist economically. We can expect um, uh, some, some sabotage or boycotting state enterprises. People are going to not pay taxes uh, in order to cut Lukashenko's regime from funding. And uh, we also can expect some new initiatives appear, something like local self-government, when, when people organize in communities and organize events and protests in their uh, neighborhoods. Um, but definitely, I don't believe Lukashenko will survive till spring because the regime is very weak and uh, uh, vulnerable right now. And it seems that even Russia doesn't see Lukashenko as the leader.